into 2009. It is Wednesday, July 1st, 2009. We have four hours spanning out before us today. We are going to have wide open phones throughout the full four hours of transmission on any subject, any news item, any uh, story you wish to discuss, any question you have for me, 1-800-259-9231, 1-800-259-9231, and we will get you up and on the air. Where to begin? We have Alan Watt joining us for two hours today, coming up in the second and third hour, maybe even longer. We will uh, open the phones up during that interview, and I'm going to try to sit back and let Alan really roll with just a few of my key questions throughout it. That's uh, always informative to have Alan on with us, so that is coming up in T-minus 59 minutes. On other fronts, because I, I, I just don't want to mention this and then have it kind of glazed over in the background chatter of the other important news I'm covering. Uh, we have discovered clear black operations going on against this office specifically. And I think longtime listeners especially know we don't just come on here and say things. If we say something, it is almost always accurate and true. And if not, the few times we're wrong, we believe it is accurate and true. But I have confirmed from multiple sources over multiple angles and over my almost 14 years in the media, on the air, as an activist, more than 14 years as an activist, really 15 as an activist, but close to 14 on air. I've discovered systems, patterns, also a lot of declassified government documents, how this stuff works, past examples, news stories when it does leak, how different types of black ops work. And... The, the establishment is moving against me on multi fronts right now, and my sixth sense has been in overdrive lately. And I'm somebody who's actually pretty bold. I do have quite a bit of almost stupid courage, if I do so say so myself. I sleep pretty well at night uh, when it comes to worrying about my own family and myself and my safety. I don't sleep well sometimes worried about society itself overall and my children's futures. So when my sixth sense starts jumping, and I mean jumping like a buck and bronco that's been thrown into a squeeze chute, and then I physically, out there in the media and the culture, see the enemy on my six, you know, not just my sixth sense, but the enemy's on my six, that means right behind me, for those that, I guess, don't know dog fighting definitions and nomenclature, that's when you say they're at 12 o'clock. They're at 3 o'clock, they're at 1 o'clock, they're at 9 o'clock. You picture yourself right in the center of the watch dial with the hands sticking out. So 12 o'clock's right out in front of you. So you'd say up into 12 o'clock or coming in on your 6 from under you. Or point is, I got all sorts of bogeys on my 6 and they are firing, a lot of them publicly firing on me. But there's a lot of other bogeys we discovered that that shake me a bit. But that's good. That's what gets me alive. It's what wakes me up. And I'll tell you, it's exciting to know you're in the service of humanity and the Creator. It's exciting to know I'm on the side of the good guys. It's exciting to know that I face media demonization, dirty tricks, physical attacks, and ultimately... The way the track is going, my death. It is exciting to turn the afterburners on and blast into enemy territory, knowing I'm committed. But I do want to ask for your prayers coming up in about 30 minutes. All right, a lot of key news straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones. This is GCN Radio Network. I said that I wanted to talk about how we basically have bogeys on our six, on our tail. I have been on the receiving end of a lot of dirty tricks, a lot of COINTELPRO, and also just a lot of jealousy across the board. And I've kind of figured out a lot of cowards just are jealous of the fact that they don't have the courage I have and aren't willing to get out there and bust their butts to really make change in the world. So 
a lot of the attacks against me are just from the mentally ill public. And in a way, those actually advertise who I am, and people just come to check out what all the hubbub's about and find out the real me, not the distortions. So in a way, that's a blessing. Every weapon formed against us ends up turning into a blessing, as long as that's in God's plan. And I don't ever pretend to pray and tell God what I want, or I just know I'm in God's hands, and I've tried to be the best person I can, and I know which side I'm on, and I know who I belong to, and that's just the end of it. A lot of people fighting tyranny in the New World Order get messed with, get picked on, get fiddled with, and blow up and go into a million pieces. Not me. It always makes me work harder. And I don't try to get up here and advertise the things we've gone through, the incredible dirty tricks, just just things that are really even hard to believe to me, and, it's, and I've experienced it. And there is certainly no doubt in my mind we wouldn't be on air. I probably wouldn't even be alive or I'd be in prison set up if it wasn't for the fact that God's definitely got some angels protecting me. And because of your prayers out there. But I've always warned people when they come to work here, and I've always warned the public that when you get involved in this, you need to know this is real. This isn't a game. We're going up against people who don't have any conscience, who are completely ruthless, and who actually enjoy hurting innocent people. And you need to be aware of that. They see life as cheap. In fact, they see life, human life, as actually dirt, as something bad, as something with negative value, not just cheap. But living, truly living, is all about standing up for humanity, going through the fire, making it through on the other side, certainly with some scars, And developing as a human being and learning what life is really all about. Service, duty, being honorable, telling the truth, not sinking to other people's level. And so I'm not going to spend much more time talking about all the dirty tricks we go through and the things we face. Other than when we have the FBI show up or we have the Secret Service show up. Or I get Army intelligence guys blocking me in a parking lot and threatening me. Or my family gets death threats. Or a helicopter over my house. Or a helicopter over my mother's house at 50 feet flipping her off and laughing at her. Or when my children get threatened, I just trust in God and move forward. There have a lot of other dirty tricks. But I... I'm not going to get specific about the new stuff that's going on, other than that it, it, it marks a new escalation in dirty tricks against me. And it's only going to give me energy. In fact, I've been really tired lately, working a lot of hours and a lot of interviews, trying to finish a book and a film by uh, by September, early September. In fact, it's, the deadline's actually late August. Uh, it's just... And actually, this persecution always makes me focus, uh, gives me wells of strength, helps me have an attitude adjustment, helps me not be worldly, helps me not be controlled by the flesh, and just gives me incredible reserves and founts of, 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 of will. And it also reaffirms just how important our work is and confirms just how evil this elite is and the system is. But I will say this, a lot of pieces of puzzles come together in research over the years. And you learn from congressional hearings from the church committee on COINTELPRO and black ops against political dissidents in the United States and worldwide. And army manuals on the subject dealing with uh, creating insurgencies or suppressing insurgencies, false flag, black ops, whisper campaigns, things of that nature. A lot of this is on record, the tricks they have in fighting, things like that. But I was told by federal and state sources I have to look out about seven months ago that they were going to try to tie me in with white supremacists who were going to commit violent acts. And these came from sources that have never been wrong in the past. And I've gotten other separate sources 
which are then telling me the same things. And then you see Poplowski, within two hours of him killing those three cops, the Southern Poverty Law Center had contacted their operative, basically, a guy who writes about militias and white supremacists and anti-government groups, and had fed my name to him saying Poplowski was a fan and simultaneously one of his so-called friends was popping up on TV saying my name when it turned out Poplowski was actually attacking me all over my own site and other sites. And then he'd visited Fox News, CNN, it's now coming out in court, and hundreds and hundreds of other sites. They chose me to go after within minutes it was being fed to the police. Within two hours it was on the news. Who is the first person they think of? Me. Who is Sauron thinking about? Me.